Hello fellow feature RNs! Okay, today let's talk about IV fluids. Okay, for the context, approximately 60 to 65 percent of our total body weight is made up of water fluids. So, nasaan naman ang mga uh, fluid na to, mga water na to? So, it's either, so the two-third of, of the tot of the 65 percent na, na tubig sa ating katawan ay makikita sa ating intracellular space or intracellular fluid. Kapag intra, ibig sabihin na sa loob ng cell. And yung another one third is extracellular or nasa labas ng cell. So kasama na sa, sa extracellular no, yung intravascular space or intravascular fluid yung nasa loob ng blood vessel natin or like yung plasma sa ating blood and interstitial or yan naman yung mga yung nasa surroundings no ng ng cell. Now, let's talk about IV fluids. Okay. IV fluids or intravenous fluids or also known as intravenous solutions are supplemental fluids used in intravenous therapy. Bakit natin to ginagamit? It is to restore or maintain normal fluid volume and electrolyte balance when the oral route is not possible. The IV fluid therapy is an efficient and effective way of supplying fluids directly into the intravascular fluid compartment. Again, intravascular, yung nasa loob ng ating blood vessels, like yung, yung, yung plasma sa ating blood. This is effective in replacing electrolyte losses in administ and in administering medications and blood products. The, the IV fluids um, work through or via the process of osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a solution with the movement of water molecules from a solution of higher or greater um, water concentration to lower concentration. I drawing natin para mas mas madaling maintindihan ang osmosis. Okay, so this is our semi-permeable um, membrane. So dito may mga solutes. Say. Ano bang solute? Solute is any substance no, na pag um, tinunaw natin sa fluid or sa solvent. Like for example, kung ang asin, tunawin mo sa tubig, diba? ang asin ay sodium chloride. No? Pag tinunaw mo siya, halo na siya sa tubig, may may iwan pa rin siyang mga uh, solute. So yun ang solute mo, yung sodium chloride. Okay, so dito, sabi natin madami siyang solute. Okay, kapag madaming, kapag konti ang solute mo, ibig sabihin, uh, mas madami kang water dito. So, this is the area of greater concentration. Dito, dahil marami kang masyadong, ano, so, concentrated to, so, decrease ang water dyan. So, ito ang, ang area mo of um, lower concentration. So, si osmosis, ang process niya is, ang water ay magta-transfer papunta sa area ng lower concentration. O, or kung yung area kung saan maraming solute. So, yung tubig dito, lilipat sa kabila. Okay, that's osmosis, the movement of water. Our IV fluids, uh, most the most common way to categorize is according sa kanilang tonicity. Ano naman si tonicity? Tonicity is the ability of an extracellular solution to make water move into or out of a cell. So, meron tayong tatlong category no, according sa, sa tonicity ng solution. No? So, you have isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic. Okay, isotonic. Iso meaning same. Ibig sabihin, same ang concentration ng solute sa solution and sa blood plasma. Okay, so same lang sila. So, so kung pagbabalikan mo yung kung babalikan mo yung osmosis, magmo-move si water papunta sa sa lower concentration. Pero dahil ang isotonic ay same, so equal lang ang ang distribution ng water natin. Okay? There is an equal transfer of water not affecting the cell. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko. Ito yung extracellular or outside the cell. Ito yung inside the cell. So, dito natin di ba infuse ang ating IV kasi ang, ang ating intravascular ay um, included siya no, sa extracellular space or extracellular fluid. Okay, ano naman ang uses ng ating, mga, ng ating isotonic solutions? So, they are used to expand the extracellular fluid volume. Bakit mo kailangan ang expand? So, syempre nangyayari ito kapag merong fluid loss in the extracellular space. Like, for example, may vomiting, diarrhea, hypovolemic shock, burns, or yung mga patient natin na magsusurgery. Kasi pag nagsurgery, diba, the um, patients who undergo surgery are, are likely to lose no extracellular 
fluids. And ang mga example natin dyan is yung ating plain NSS or 0.9 sodium chloride, your LR or lactated ringer solution, and your 5% dextrose in water. Okay, now, nursing considerations, um, NSS, about NSS, so our, our, our NSS or your normal saline replaces water, sodium, and chloride. Kasi sodium chloride yan eh. Okay, and NSS, remember, is the only solution we administer with blood. Wala nang iba. NSS lang ang, ang in-administer with blood. Okay, uh, watch out for fluid overload. So, i-monitor ang BP. Baka, baka tumaas ang BP. And breath, breathing and lung sounds. Kasi baka nagpagkocongest yan. Lalo na yung mga patient natin with kidney problems and heart problems. Tapos, pag nag-overload yan, magkocongest yan ang patient. Okay? And, of course, edema sa extremities. And, of course, check your sodium and chloride levels. Yeah. Next type is our hypotonic. Let the name help you. Hypo. Ibig sabihin low. Ibig sabihin lower ang concentration or lesser ang concentration ng solution um, compared sa plasma. So, for example, ito yung sa outside ng cell. See, mas lower, mas konti ang kanyang solute kesa sa, sa nasa loob ng cell. So, Balikan mo ulit yung osmosis. Anong mangyayari sa water? Saan magka-transfer ang water? Sa greater, kung saan may greater concentration. So, lilipat ang water pupunta sa cell. Anong mangyayari sa cell? Mag-swell. Okay, it causes the cell to swell na pwede nga siyang mag-rupture. Hypotonic solutions are used for hypernatremia or increased ang sodium levels sa, sa blood. And it provides free water to help kidneys excrete waste to prevent dehydration. Pulse are your 0.45% NSS. Okay, nursing considerations, it can lead to brain swelling kasi nagsiswell yung, yung cell, di ba? So, it can lead to uh, brain swelling. So, you have to monitor mental ch status changes, hypotension, hypovolemia, and it can cause hyponatremia. The last one is hypertonic. Naman. So, hyper, ibig sabihin, um, higher or greater concentration of solute than the plasma. Okay, so anong mangyayari? So, ang water naman from the cell, dahil mas maraming um, solute outside the cell, lilipat via the process of osmosis, li, uh, magta-transfer ang water outside the cell. So, kapag nawala ang water sa cell, anong mangyayari sa cell? Mag-shrink ang cell. Okay, this is naman, uh, hypertonic naman is used for hyponatremia and for cerebral edema. Kasi nag nagsiswell ang, ang brain, no? So, para ma mabawasan ang swelling. So, mga example niya, yung 3% NSS, yung dextro dextrose 10% in water, you have dextrose 5% in plain NSS, and dextrose 5% in 0.45 NSS. So, nursing considerations, you watch out for fluid overload. And this can cause hypernatremia kasi magiging mas concentrated ang blood. Okay, that's it for IV fluids. I hope you learned something today. Bye!